My first thoughts here are it is up the hill a bit, which means traffic, but they're redoing a lot of these roads up here to make them wider, to have a, a bigger access to Poblado Avenue. Other than that, I really like it. It's really nice and quiet. You got a lot of green space. You know, you've got plenty of guest parking out here. Look at how nice the little uh, areas here. Wow, really well manicured. Look at the flowers, the trees. This is an older building that you can see looks pristine. It looks really, really nice. Look at they even changed the font on the letters here. Looks like they painted uh, beneath the windows to give it a more modern feel. This is nice. Yes, she owns the place. This is incredible. You got a little stream right here in the heart of Poblado here in the, the middle of kind of the really high-end area and you just got like this oasis like a botanical garden around the apartment complex it's really really wild this is really weird this looks like a, an american apartment complex with the parking like this where you've got the, the outdoor parking that really makes me feel like i'm back in the states almost all the parking here is underneath the building but this complex has so much space that they actually put the parking out on the sides like this like they do in the united states under these carports i don't think i've ever seen this in in columbia so sebastian they have a sauna and pool here really yeah. Okay, so this is super rare to have a building like this age that actually has a, these type of amenities. Really, really rare. Wow. <laughs> They've got a steam room and a, and a sauna in there as well. It's just bizarre that you go through just like right in the heart of Poblado, right next to the Golden Mile, right next to everything. You come up all those roads with all that traffic and bam, you're just like... And this is why you just have to go out and, and look at things because they had no pictures of this on the listing, like zero. And you got a little kids park here. I, I can't believe they have this much land. Yeah, this is a place for barbecues. Yeah. Okay. So we've got one parking space or two? One. That's nice, you're right next to your parking spot. Oh wow. So the first thing I'm noticing Very here tall. is you got re really tall ceilings. But really high ceilings. So again, you've got an enclosed kitchen and maids quarters. Yes, it's, uh, the first floors here are the only ones that have these. The high ceilings? Here. Yeah. Yeah, that's really rare. So, how many square meters is the terrace? Uh, About 50 square meters. Okay. And then. And the, the apartment is 54, 91, 7, 45. Okay. question for Joaquin would be if you could demo these walls or these these brick exterior walls I don't think you could because if I, if I could demo it then I could turn that into indoor space and then you'd get the 150 square meters that I thought the apartment was that they do that all the time here they include the terrace space into the livable space so it looks like it's 150 square meters but it's not it's like the same thing they do in the united states by including the basement <laughs> yeah, so these two these two bedrooms share this bath 
I'd be a buyer because the outsider is so nice. And I could just turn this into like a big one bedroom and then make this outdoor terrace area just absolutely amazing. Open up the kitchen. 